Hello, everybody. Welcome to the class. Good evening. Hello, Rene. How are you today? Hi, mm, okay, teacher. Great. Nice to have you here, Rene. And hello, Marie. How are you? Hello, teacher. Fine. And you? I'm great. Nice to have you here, Marie. And hello, David. How are you doing? Hello, teacher. Was fine. Fine, amazing. Thank you for joining, David. And hello, Jose. How are you today? How are you feeling today? Um, so so. Mm -hmm. That. So so. Why, Jose? What happened? A lot of things today. Ah, so you didn't have a good day. Yeah. Yes, it happens sometimes. Sometimes we have bad days. But thank you for joining. Nice to have you here. And welcome, Mar. Welcome. Welcome, everybody. We are going to start with this topic. Yes, no questions and WH words. Okay? So it's going to be quite easy for you. And let's begin with an activity. So I'm going to ask you some questions and you are going to try to speak as much as possible. So let's begin. And the first participant is going to be David. So get ready, David. Let's find your first question. Let's see. Let's spin the wheel. Okay, let's try with another one. This one. David. What did you eat yesterday for dinner? Um, I ate uh, some beans, mm -hmm. um, a little piece of cheese, mm -hmm. and uh, avocado. An avocado, great. That's a very nice dinner. And let me ask you, what did you eat for lunch? Mm, I don't remember. You don't remember? Um, it's okay. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't remember. <laughs> you don't remember. And do you remember? Um, what did you eat for breakfast? Breakfast. Um, what's easy? Uh, eggs uh, and cheese. And cheese, great. Very good, David. Thank you for sharing. And now, let's see. Let's go with another question. And this one goes to Maddie. So get ready, Maddie. Let's find your question. This one. Maddie, when did you finish school? What year? Um, 2015. In 2015. And let me ask you, where did you go to school? The name. Where did you go to school? Um, the name is Complejo Educativo Juan de Dios del Cid. Okay, very good. In You said in 2015, right? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, very good. So that was, let's see, eight years ago, right? Ah, it was recent. Very good, Mari. Thank you for sharing. Now let's see who's going to be the next one. Let's go with Rene. The next question is for you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> This one, Rene, what kind of game 
did you play when you were a child? When you were a child. Uh, okay, teacher. Uh, I played with my with my son and and soccer. Soccer. When you were a kid, mm -hmm. you played soccer. Very good. Yes, teacher. And what else? Another game. Did you play, for example, Mika? Hide and seek, escondelero, hide and seek, when you were a kid? Um, no, teacher, no. Only soccer? Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. So you like soccer. Very good, René. Nice job. Now, let me ask Kayleen. Hello, Kayleen. The next question is for you. Get ready, Kayleen. Let's see. This one, Kaylin. How many apples did you eat last week? Kaylin? How many apples did you eat last week? You can say zero. Or two apples, maybe? I don't know. Are you there, Kaylin? What do you think? Three apples. Three apples. You ate three apples last week. Very good, Kaylin. Now, let's see who is missing. The next one is going to be for Jose. This next question. Let's see. Let's spin the wheel. And this one, Jose, what was your favorite subject at school? Math. Math, really? Why? Um, because in that time, I love to, I love, loved numbers. You loved numbers, very good. That's interesting that you like math. A lot of people say that they don't like math at all because it's quite difficult, right? No. It's, it's... <laughs> you find it easy. That's great. Very good, Jose. And now, let's see. Mad, are you there? For the next question. Okay, then we are going to continue with today's topic. So as I, as I mentioned before, today we are going to learn how to ask yes, no questions. So let me ask, David, can you read this one, this right here, David, and the examples? Okay, yes or no question. Did plus subject plus verb base form plus complement. Example, did you buy a car? Did she go to the beach? Did they play soccer? Very good. Very good, David. Thanks for reading. Now, let me ask Mari. So, according to the structure, what is this, Mari? Did. Mm -hmm. Very good. This one? Subject. Very good. This one? Very base for. Amazing. And, compliment. and the compliment. Very good, Mari. And let me ask you. Mari, how can we answer this question? Did you buy a car? How can you answer the question? Mm -hmm. Mari, if mm -hmm. I ask you. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure, teacher. Uh, I don't remember the answer. Uh, I think no, didn't. Very good. Huh? You're close. No, then the subject. 
What no, is this? Very good. No, I didn't. Very good, Mani. That is correct. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Now, the next one, let me ask. Rene, how can you answer this question? Did she go to the beach? Mm, yes, yes, I did. Yes, I, okay. Look at the question. Did she go to the beach? Oh, okay, teacher. Uh, yes, yes, she did, teacher. Very good. Yes, she did. Amazing job, Renee. And the last one, let me ask. Kaylin, what do you think? Did they play soccer? Kaylin Olmedo, what do you think? How can you answer? Yes, they did. Very good. Yes, they did. So as you can see, guys, these are called yes, no questions because you can answer with no or with yes, right? No, I didn't. Yes, she did. Yes, they did. So that is it. Any questions with this one or everything fine? It's clear, teacher. Clear. Very good, Maddie. Thank you. So as you can see, these topics are quite simple, but it's useful to practice. So now I'm going to ask you for some examples, let's see, of questions. Yes, no questions. So let's begin with Jose. Can you give me one yes, no question? Did I go to the supermarket with my friends? With my friends. Very good, Jose, very good example. Did I go to the supermarket with my friends? Very good. Another example, let me ask. David, can you give me one sentence? Sorry, one yes, no question. Did you eat pupusas yesterday? Very good. Did you eat? Says yesterday. Very good. Great question. And the last example, let me ask Mari. One yes, no question, Mari. Um, did she do exercise on the weekend? Exercise on the weekend. Very good example, Mari. Thank you. Did she do exercise on the weekend? And as you can see, these questions, you can say yes or no, right? So amazing job, guys. You understood perfectly. And now we have another type of questions. So for this one, let me ask, Rene, can you read, Rene? This one right here, the WH question. Okay, teacher, WH question. When? As about time, why as as about reason, which as about choice, whom as about people, what as for information, where as about place, whose as about position, who as about people, how as about process, manner or manner. Very good, Rene. Thanks for reading. And as you can see, these are all the WH questions. And for example, when, for time, where, for place, who, for people. So keep this in mind. These are very useful. So any questions with the meaning of these ones? Or everything is clear? No question, teacher. It's clear. Very good, Maddie. Thank you. So if you don't have questions, here we have the structure for WH questions. So Kayleen, can you read this one, Kayleen, please? And then the example.
Scaling on metal, can you read structure, please? W. Word. A mm -hmm. word plus tip plus subject plus pair back four plus complement. Plus the complement. Very good, Kaylee. Now plus. the example. What did you buy last week? Who did you call last night? Where did you go last week? Last week. Very good, Kaylin. Thanks for reading. So then let me ask Jose, according to the structure, what is this, Jose? WH. Very good. Good. Now this one. Mm, deal, but auxiliary will be it. Mm -hmm. Auxiliary, oh. very good. This one. Uh, subject. Very good. This one. And verb. And finally. Mm, mm, complement. The complement. Very good, Jose. So as you can see, guys. In these questions, it is very important that the verb is in the base form, okay? Because you already have did. So you don't need to write the verb in the past. So you say, for example, who did you call? We don't say who did you called. Where did you go? That is correct. We don't say where did you went, right? So remember, base form. So questions with this one or everything's fine? It's clear, teacher. Clear, thank you, Maddie. So if you don't have questions, now you are going to help me with more examples. And let's see, David, can you give me one WH question in the past? And then this one WH question. Um, what did you do the last week? What did you do last week? Very good, David. Amazing example. What did you do last week? Asking for information. Now the next one, let me ask Manny one. WH question. Okay, teacher. And um, when did they visit your family? Your family. Very good, Maddie. Nice example. The, this one is asking about time, about a date. Very good. Now let me ask Rene one WH question. Okay, teacher. Where where did you be last night? Where did you be last night? Last night. Okay. Thank you, Renee. Just one thing. With the verb be, what is the past for the verb be, Renee? Was and um, where. Very good, that is correct. Was and where. So this verb is different. There is an exception. With was and where, we use it like this. Where were you? Last, what did you mention last? Last night. Last night. Last night. Night. Very good. So as you can see, this is an exception. The verb be. With the verb oh. be, we do not use did. We only write where. Where were you last night? Okay, teacher. But very good example, Renee. 
very, very great example using the verb be. Let me give you another example. For example, this one. Who did who was, for example, who was in the park? This one. Also using the verb be. Who was in the park? We don't say who did be in the park, right? Who was in the park. So keep that in mind. And let's see, now we can move on to the next one. So now, guys, we are going to learn the pronunciation for the regular verbs. And let's see, this is very important to practice. So let me ask Kayleen, can you read this one, Kayleen? Renunciation for aging. The pronunciation for word aging in a depends on the final consonant song. There are there was to pronounce it aging. It'd be very good. Just one thing, Kaylin. This one, three ways, like this. Ways. Very good. Three ways. Thank you, Kaylin. Now, look at this. Let me show you. Let's zoom in. Very good. So, as Kaylin said, we have three ways to pronounce the verb the verbs um, in the past, the regular verbs. So let's begin with the first group. And for that, let me ask, Jose, can you read this one? Idi, one kill, maybe. Very good, thank you, Jose, that is correct. So as you can see, when the verbs in, end in T and a D, we say, for example, wanted, needed. So, this one, only with T and D. Now we have the next one, the second. This is a T sound. So, let me ask, David, can you read these ones with the T sound? Helped, looked, watched, watched, laughed. Breathed, kissed, danced, fixed. Fixed. Very good pronunciation, David. Thank you so much. That was really, really great. So as you could hear in David's pronunciation, it sounds like a T. We don't say help it. We don't say look it, wash it, watch it, or kiss it, right? So when you see these letters, remember, it sounds like a T. Helped, looked, and the final sound. This is a D. So for this one, let me ask, Mari, can you read this one, Mari? This sounds like a D. Called, blinked, offered, the mate, loved, used, followed, enjoyed, um, made. Amazing. Yes, Maddie, that was great. Very good. Thank you, Maddie. Very, very good job. So as you could hear in Maddie's pronunciation, this sounds like a D. We don't say, again, we don't say call it or follow it, right? We say called, follow. When you see all these consonants right here. So, any questions with the pronunciation or everything fine? Everything is fine, teacher. Fine, very good, Maddie, thank you. So if you don't have questions with the pronunciations, 
Now we are going to practice. This one, let's see, let me ask. Rene, what is the pronunciation of this verb in the past? Do you remember, Rene? Um, in the past, teacher. Mm -hmm. And went, and went. Went? Yes, teacher. Okay, look at this. It ends with a T. So when it when. ends, look at this. When it ends with a T, we pronounce it like with an IED, with like an E. For example, this one is needed. Okay, teacher. So what do you think about this one? About, let me show you. About this one. Grant. Very good, wanted. That is the pronunciation. In this case, we pronounce the ed, right? Wanted. Okay. Very good, Rene. Now let me ask Kaylin, what is the pronunciation for this one? Do you remember? What do you think, Amy? Okay, then let me ask Jose, what is the pronunciation for that verb? Do you remember? Yes, fixed. Fixed, very good, Jose, amazing job. So, because this one ends with an X, the pronunciation is, look at this, with a T, fixed. So very good, guys. And now it's time to practice. I know that in this one, you see so many letters, but with practice, it's going to be very easy for you to remember the pronunciation of the verbs. Now let's begin with some activities so we can practice. Okay, so in this one, you are going to create a question in the past using one of these words. Mm -hmm. And after the question, you are also going to complete the answer. So let's begin with the participants. And let's see, the first one is David. What question can we create here? When did you go to Paris? When? Very good. Now the answer. I went last year. I went last year. Very good, David. And as you can see, when we are asking for time, right? When? Last year. Let's see. Very good. Now, this one is for... Mari, what do you think in this one? Let's create the question, Mari. Uh, what did you... Um, I'm not sure, teacher. I think... Get it? This one. Yes, I'm not sure. It's okay, don't worry, Mari. So for the questions, we have the WH word plus did plus the subject plus, where is it, plus verb in the base form. Plus verb in the base form. Let me, there we go. So the verb is in the base form. What do you think? What did you? Get. Very good. What did you get for Christmas? Very good. Look at this. 
Very good job, Marie. Perfect. Now, in this one, let's see, René. How do we complete this question, René? Okay. Um, how did you mother? Mm -hmm. uh, where did you? Where did you mother? Very good. Very good, Rene. Uh huh. Where? She. She traveled. Very good. She traveled to London. Very good job, Rene. Perfect. Look at this. Very very good job. Now, let's see. This one is for Kaylin. What do you think, Kaylin? What is the first one, Kaylin? Look at this. Let me give you a clue. This one is asking about manner, like the way it happened. So you can use why, how, or where. What do you think is the first one, Kaylee? Why, how, or where? Why. Why? Okay, let's try with why. And now the second one, he. Blessed. Very good. Just one thing. Why? In this case, let's go back to the WH. Why is asking for a reason. This one. Look at this, Kaylee. Can you read this one? Sorry. Mm -hmm. This one, the last one. Uh -huh. How? Mm -hmm. This one? As above process. Manner. Or manner. Very good, Kaylee. Process or manner. So, how is to ask? About the manner that something happened. La manera en que algo pasó. So in this case, look at this. We are asking about the manner in this one. So why? Are you sure? Or what could be the other option, Kaylee? Mm-hmm. What is the word for to ask for manner about manner? Hi. Which one? Huh. How? How? Very good. Very good, Kelly. How? And in this case, the pronunciation for this one is with a T sound like this. Past. Past. Can you? Very good. Very good, Kaylin. He passed the exam perfectly. So let's see, look at these. Very good. Now, in this one, let me ask Jose, how do we complete this one? What do you think? Jose Sura, how Where? do we complete? Where? Mm -hmm. mm, very good. I wasn't. I wasn't. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at this. Yes. So if we have yes, Jose, what, what is next? 
Yes, I wasn't. What do you say? What is the other option? Weren't. Weren't. Okay. So look at these. What? These ones are negative, right? And here we have yes. When you say yes, oh. is something positive, right? Yes. I was no, I yeah, used always. Don't worry, don't worry. Yes, I was very good. Now the next one, we. Where did? We weren't cook dinner. Okay, so let's remember it. Negative sentence. In the past, they use a subject plus didn't plus the verb in the base form plus a complement. So in this one, we is the subject and what, what else, Jose? What is after we? Mm, deal. Very good. We didn't, in this case, we didn't cook a dinner or we didn't cook dinner, right? Because in negatives, the verb is in the base verb, okay? So look at this one. Very good job, Jose, thank you. Now this one. David, what do you think with this one? David Hernandez. Why? Why, very good, asking for a reason. Mm -hmm was very good it was boring very good david look at this perfect now the next one mari what do you think mari de gonzalez what do you think um Cool. Very good. Uh, asking about a person. Mm -hmm. uh, my sister, I'm not sure the pronunciation of this word. I think draw. This one? Uh, no. This one? Yes. <laughs> Very good. That is correct, Manny. Mari, sorry, that is correct. Very good. Just one thing. This one is Drew, like that. My sister drew it. Okay, my, teacher. My sister drew it. Very good, Mari. That is correct. Drew it. She drew it. And there you go. That is correct. It got frozen. Se congeló un poquito. There it is. Okay, then let's go with the next one. What happened? There, there we go. Now, this one. Let's see, let me ask. Rene, what do you think in this one, Rene? Um, when when do you play? Very good. When hmm? when did you play with the cat? What do you think? Um, less. This one. Yes, teacher, less. Two hours less. 
Okay, nice try, Rene. Very good. Just one thing. In this one, last, we usually use it at the beginning, for example, at the beginning of, of a noun, before a noun, for example. Last night, or last week, or last year, right? But okay. never at the end. We don't write it at the end. So in this case... Uh, go, teacher, ¿qué quiere decir? I go. This I one go. means two hours ago, hace dos horas. When oh, you okay. use ago, it means ago. hace. So, for example, this one. If you say one month ago, one month ago, it means hace un mes. If you say one year ago, it means hace un año, right? Okay, teacher. Very good, Renée. Thank you. And for that, I don't know why it's frozen. Very good. So we are going to move on with the next one. And let's see, in this next activity, in this next activity, we are going to listen to an audio and you are going to help me complete in the blank spaces. So number one is going to be for Kaylin. So get ready, Kaylin. We are going to play the audio. Let's see, let's begin. Conversation one, Kaylin. Conversation one. What did you do yesterday? Mm -hmm. What do you think, Kaylin? What is missing there? What? What is the auxiliary for the past? Mm -hmm. Kaylin, you can do it. What is the auxiliary? Mm -hmm. Indeed, very good. What did you do yesterday? Now the next one. Nothing much. I just stayed at home and cleaned the house. Mm -hmm. I just... Is she there? Very good. That is correct, Kelly. I just stayed at home. Now the next one. How boring. Mm -hmm. This one, Kelly? Boring. Very good. How boring. Very good listening skills, Kelly. Now the next one. The next one is for Jose. Get ready, Jose. Yeah, it was. And you, what did you do? What did you? Do. Very good. What did you do? The next one, Jose. I drove to the mountains and went hiking. Mm -hmm. I? What do you think? Went. Okay, just, let's play it one more time. I drove to the mountains and went hiking. That sounds. Mm -hmm. I drove. Very good. And went. Very good. And went hiking. Now the next one. We are almost done with the first conversation. It's fun. It was. I had a great time. It was. And you? What did you do? I drove to the mountains and went hiking. That sounds fun. That sounds very good. And the last one? Have. Very good. Very good. Don't say that is correct. That sounds fun. I had a great time. Very good. You are great listeners. Now, conversation two. This one is for. David, so get ready, David. 
It was. I had a great time. Conversation two. Did you do anything this weekend? Did you? Very good. Did you? I did. I took the train to the city and met my friend. Took. Very good. Took. Yeah. What did you do? Took. Very good. What did you do? We had lunch and did some shopping. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good. We had lunch. Very good. Great listening skills, David. Now the next one is for money. So get ready, money. Listen to this next Did one. Did you buy anything? No, I didn't. I just went window shopping. Mm -hmm. Did you? Mani, what do you think? Did you? If you want, we can play it again. Lunch and did some shopping. Did you buy anything? Mm -hmm. No. Mani, are you there? Hi, teacher. <laughs> Hi. Okay, if, we, if you want, we can play the audio again. Okay, teacher. Came to the city and met my friend. Oh yeah, what did you do? We had lunch and did some shopping. Did you buy anything? Mm -hmm. no. This one? Did you? I no listen, teacher. Okay, just one more time. What did you do? We had lunch and did some shopping. Did you buy anything? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did you buy? Very good. Did you buy anything? No, I didn't. I just went window shopping. I, I just went? I just went. went. Very good. I just went. And the last one, Mari. Two. Very good. Me too. Very good. Thank you. Great listening skills. And that is it. That is a listening activity. If you want, you can do number three to practice if you have time and number four. So you can continue practicing your listening skills. Now we go with the final activity. And in the final activity, let me show you. So for this one, I'm going to show you these boxes, right? You are going to choose the box and you are going to answer some of those questions. So let's begin with Rene. Choose a number, Rene. Which number do you want? Uh, number seven. Number seven. Very good. So seven. This one is for you, Rene. When was the last time that you took an exam? Mm. That you had an exam. Do you remember? Um, eh, tengo que escoger una de esas, ¿verdad, teacher? No, you can share information. The last time that you took an exam, when? Do you remember maybe one month ago or two months ago? The last time you took an exam, an exam. Um, no, teacher, me bloqueé, la verdad. Don't worry. La última vez um, que tomó un examen. For example, one month ago. When? Oh, okay. Sí, sí. Um, um, 
No sé, dicho la verdad. One month ago, maybe. Mm. Twice a month. Okay, twice a month. And let me ask you, what was the subject? Uh, English teacher. English, very good. And let me ask you, how difficult was the exam? Easy, very difficult. How difficult? Um, todo teacher. <laughs> <laughs> so it was easy or difficult? Um, difficult. Difficult, very good. And let me ask you, um, what grade did you get? Do you remember? Um, repeat me, teacher. Yes. What grade did you get? For example, an eight, a seven, a nine, a ten. What grade? Um, a nine, teacher. A nine. Very good. You did a great job then. Very good, then. Thank you for sharing. And okay. choose the, the next participant, Rene. Who goes next? Aquí, teacher, sería Mari de González. Mari, very good, Rene. Let's go then with Mari. Mari, which number do you want? Um, number five. Five, very good. This one. Mari, when was the last time that you went to a restaurant? And three months, three months ago. Three months ago, very good. And let me ask you, where, where did you go? Uh, Metro Centro. Very good. And what is the name of the restaurant? And uh, the name is China Wood. Very good. And let me ask you, um, who did you go to the restaurant? Who did you uh, go with? And with my with my family with your family that's nice and let me ask you what do you remember what did you eat i don't remember teacher and um, i'm not sure and um, uh, how do you say teacher pollo agridulce you can say um Bitter sweet, bitter sweet chicken. Okay, bitter sweet chicken, teacher. Chicken, With very rice. good. With rice, that's great. Very good, Manny. That sounds really, really nice. Now I'm feeling hungry as well. <laughs> <laughs> very good, Manny. Now choose the next participant. Who is the next participant, Manny? Choose. You can choose David or Jose. Who goes next? Mari? Um, ahorita, ahorita te este, David Hernandez. David, very good. So let's go with David and then we go with Jose. Which number do you want, David? 15. 15, very good. 15. So this one, the last new year. Let me ask you, David, where did you go for New Year's? Last year. Um, is it specifically on vacation or all the last year? Um, last New Year, um, the thirty first of December. Ah, and then I, the first of January. Mm -hmm. I stayed with my family in my house. With your family, very good. And let me ask you, what did you eat? Do you remember what did you eat and what did you drink? Yeah. Uh, how do you say panes con pollo? You can say. Bread with chicken? <laughs> yeah. It's a, a culture. 
<laughs> yes. And let me ask you. Mm, let's see. Who cooked the food? My mom. Your mom. Very good. And let me ask you. What time did you go to sleep? Uh, around two, two or three a.m. I think. Yeah, two or three. So you almost stayed up all night. That's that's great. And the final question. Let me ask you. Did you um? Did you watch or did you see fireworks? Yeah, my brothers. Uh, my my brothers, uh, how I don't know. How do you say, um, que ellos lo hacen? O sea, la acción de, um, como quemar pólvora o algo así. No sé. That's a very good question. So, we can say I don't know if we can say burst. Let me look that for you and let's see, just give me one moment because I'm not sure if it's burst. And for the next one, we go with Jose. Just one second, Jose. So for this one, let's see, this one. Let me show you. So for that one, you can say it like this, David. Let me show you. Fireworks display, like that. Fireworks display. Okay. Very good. So your brothers were playing with the fireworks. Very good, David. Yeah. And yes, that is it. Very good participation. And finally, we go with Jose. What number do you want? 14. 14. Very good. So, Jose, when was the last time that you went to a party? Do you remember? Mm. last year last year and whose party was it the kin whose party was it maybe a friend mm -hmm. a ver birthday of a friend of my friend okay so it was a birthday and let me ask you do you rem do you remember what did you eat and drink at that party? I didn't eat anything. You didn't eat. You were not hungry. Yeah. And let me ask you. Um, where where was the party? In his house. Mm -hmm. At his in his house, very good. And who did you go with? I went alone with Al a gift. You went alone and you bought a gift. Very good, Jose. Thank you for participating. Very good job. And very good job, everybody. Now we are about to finish. So um, questions with today's topic or everything was clear? Everything is clear, teacher. Okay, Mary, thank you. So if you don't have questions, guys, thank you for joining and see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Good night, teacher. Bless you. Good night, Mary. Good night, everybody. See you.